Yo guys, how's it going on and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege video and as you see by the title of the day, I'm going to be doing five spots of November within Rainbow Six Siege. I kind of like this whole five thing, I hope you do enjoy. The actual glitches did well, the glitch before did well, so I thought kind of the feedback was going really well, so I thought I'd carry on a bit of Rainbow Six Siege. If you are enjoying it, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new as well, it really does help me out. And yeah, apart from that, hopefully we'll get some kind of like audience coming back to the actual kind of Rainbow Six Siege for the MZN or the OG fans. And yeah, let's just get basically the five spots on Rainbow Six Siege of November, because I think this is important, because there was a lot of spots in November, and not very many glitches so i thought i'd kind of show them but yeah apart from that anything else you do want to see Rainbow Six Siege wise fortnite in real life content let me know and yeah apart from that guys let's get straight into the five spots now guys as you can see i'm back on the menu and i've taken away the face cam just because i think it's easier and the first of all what we're going to do is start off on consular and we're going to be doing two spots today now we are going to be doing them with like within each other and one's going to be valkyrie cam and another one's going to be kind of like a strat but i'll be explaining them in a minute just to help you out so you fully do understand so guys, first of all, we are going to be starting off in the actual kind of garage, which is, to be fair, one of the most popular places to defend. Now, this one is going to be the camera, and we're going to start off with the camera because it's very easy. And all you literally want to do is you should just come all the way to this window of this van, go and get your camera, and throw it around that light area here. Now, that's not probably the best spot, and I'm actually going to shoot that out of the way because I didn't really like that spot at all. But just around there, and basically what this does is make the camera invisible because once you actually go to look at it, as you can see right now, these kind of like sun visors or that actually do block the sun when you're driving these actually hide this drone so if i was to go outside and i don't want to actually use my nitrous oil just yet but if i was to go to the outside and be able to like go and shoot anything open you wouldn't be able to see it so if i actually go outside right now just to give you an example and what it does look like so you perfectly understand if i literally just go and shoot this kind of like doorway open a bit like obviously use my gun as you can see right now if i go to look for the camera i can't see that at all and you know it's right there and it's so perfect so if i was the attacker and they're the back camera they'll be able to spot where i was actually going to be able to defuse in if i'm going to defuse down the corner where i'm going to breach in stuff like that it's such a little handy spot and to be fair i did see some pro league within the finals and i thought you know what i'll show you because it's very op apart from that guys we're going to move into the second spot because you can't really say anything more about it now guys, the second spot is literally like two meters away from it, and it's to do with this hatch. So we're going to be able to have to use our imagination here, as you're going to be able to like imagine that this hatch is reinforced. So what we're actually going to do is go see mark that out, and kind of show you what I do mean, and it's a lot of imagination. If I had a spare person to help me, it would have been great, but unfortunately I don't. So guys, normally you would actually get this kind of wall here reinforced as well as this hatch around the corner actually reinforced as well. So that is really important because obviously the top's even coming through. And obviously what a lot of people do do, and you do see this in the pro league, if you don't understand what's happening, basically people have banned this, which breaks down that reinforcement and then breaks down this hatch. Now, what a lot of people are doing right now is if I do mark that out again, because it's very important that I do mark that, because if I don't mark it enough, then you won't understand. However, what a lot of people are doing is waiting or hearing for that actual hatch to be or like the actual thing to be exploded. And what they do is grab their impact grenade or nitro cell and literally are waiting for the right moment. As soon as they do hear it, they literally, boom, they breach it. Now, obviously, because that's not reinforced, that's broken. However, if that was actually not reinforced and it was reinforced as well as that, and they started abandoning it, what they would actually do was actually take away the banners and they wouldn't be able to get through at all. And that's what's OP. Now, guys, this is also perfect because they're all soft floors. You can actually see through the floorboards and we have to shoot anyone that is there. And you may get lucky and get a kill with it at the same time. However, I thought we'd show it because it was really OP. And I hope you do understand. If you don't, then go watch the Pro League and you'll understand from there. But apart from that, guys, let's move on to the third spot. Now guys, this next actual thing is another Valkyrie camera spot. However, this Valkyrie camera is probably the best I've actually seen on Cosine. Now, this is just very handy for a little spawn peak at the same time. And it's a kind of a Valkyrie with a kind of spawn peak. So, I hope you do understand. If you don't, then feel free to ask about every single spot. I will obviously say that. But obviously, if you don't understand, then obviously, like I said, feel free to ask. And then hopefully, I can explain it for you. But guys, what you want to do is come over to this bit here and then you just pull down this barricade and what you want to do is come and get your Valkyrie cam and aim it towards the back of those cushions. Now, probably that's not the best spot, so maybe a bit higher uh, or maybe just a bit lower. It's basically you get right in between the cushions and around this area here is kind of the perfect spot. So that kind of back one is the way you want to do it. And what it actually does is when we go to actually look at these actual cameras, as you can see right now, it actually kind of shows that the people going through this area and obviously people running down here. So what you've actually got to imagine is I'm waiting here and I'm on my camera. I see someone running. They're not going to notice the camera at all because it's hidden by the cushions. And as soon as they run, I get a nice little peek on them. I can shoot around 
and boom, it's that easy to do. It takes no time. However, guys, I did say it is very sometimes hard to get that actual kind of like Valkyrie cam spot. So if I can actually get my Valkyrie cam spots, there we go. So if I can just take you back and take you back and i'll take that one back but the kind of main aim here is to get it right there because once you do go all the way back right here it's covered by these cushions you can barely see it and to be fair it's just very op when you look at it you can't see it at all you go to shoot it it's not gonna be there it's fully invisible and it's just sick but apart from that guys that's the third spot don't really need to cover it you fully understand valkyrie cams and yeah let's move on to the fourth and the penultimate actual spot now guys, this next actual spot is going to be a Rush Invincible spawn beat. It's probably the best I've seen literally from day one of Rainbow Six Siege. I can't believe it. And it's going to be spawn peak in that tower, which normally the attackers normally try and spawn peak you if you're trying to spawn peak them. Sounds confusing, but you understand what I mean. And what you want to do is actually go into exhibition and work office. Now you can be any operator you want. So I'm going to get an operator with an ACOG or just a good site. So I'll pick my Jaeger because Jaeger is my favorite operator. And what you want to do from here is go to the exact same place and use the exact same kind of angle now i recommend practicing this in a custom game so you can put it off correctly within a normal game but trust me it's insane and you'll understand why in a second so guys literally just come pull down this barricade here well obviously we've got to wait for the timer then after you've literally got that timer gone down, all you want to do is run straight upside, look through the kind of dragon's legs, and as you can see right there, that is the angle we want. Straight through here, they're not going to see it, you can literally get the nicest spot ever, and it's just so perfect because literally straight through there is where everyone does go. And just to show you again, literally that's kind of the point we're going for, and round here as well, and you just be ticking them off one by one, because you come upstairs, you come around here, and by the time they get to that route, you're killing them, super OP, and just to show you one more time what it does look like, so you're literally looking through the legs, you can even go at an angle and just get it right there or you can literally just go right here and as you can see it's on the run there and it's perfect but if you want to go a bit more kind of delicate and more to the front where they do stand then again this is another spot win the legs and it's just perfect because they won't be able to kill you they'll see your name tag come up but they just won't be able to see you at all and it is perfect so guys that is the actual fourth one and i'm just gonna move on to the fifth and final one because i don't want to kind of spend too much time on it so you fully get the spots and it's just easier for you to understand and yeah apart from that let's get into the fifth and final one now guys, this next glitch, you may have to obviously make sure it is bomb. Now, the problem is, I might not be able to fully show you. It depends where the bomb actually does spawn. However, this is probably one of the sick diffuser spots I've ever used. I always do use it. It's very old, but it still reoccurs, and still not many people actually really do know about it. So, to be fair, all I'm going to do is just go and get my normal operator, and you're going to head towards the kind of computer server room. So, I'm going to be Ash, and it's kind of a little parkour movement, and in my opinion, it's really sick. However, I did say, it's been in the game a long time. Some people always do recommend recognize it and the best part about it, it is so hard for you to be get up there once the bomb is up there and it's just really hard to understand right now because you obviously don't understand what it is if you haven't seen it before but you understand in a minute so here we go guys we're literally just going straight to the front of the actual border map through the main doors and as you can see here just go break through this you know nice and simple switch back here we go go through and hopefully the bombs in here no nope, it's not so i can't actually paste it i'll paste more up there but all you want to do is walk on top of the silver table start running go back and forward back and forward kind of like a little zigzag and eventually what should happen is you should be able to get all the way up on top of this kind of bit here and that's where you want to place your bomb it's literally just about timing i recommend practicing this in a custom game something like that but it's kind of like surfing if you ever played like Gary's mod or anything like that you literally just surf your way up but then you have to do it very quickly like I said it's very hard to do there was an easier method back in the day however that was patched because obviously people were always doing it but it literally just does take your time and eventually you will get up there but like I said I'm not going to do it today because obviously the bomb isn't in here so I can't plant it but once you do it correctly you place the bomb right up there and if defenders try and actually get it they can't defuse it and they've got to get up there and if they don't know how to do it then you've won straight away super OP and I can't understand why you wouldn't do it but apart from that guys that's pretty much the video today if you did enjoy then feel free to leave a like it would really help out subscribe if you are new leave a like as well i don't know why i just said that but turn notifications as well i do tons of content fortnite rainbow Six siege in real life stuff and the 10k carry change should be coming soon so hopefully guys you do enjoy it and yeah apart from that guys and until next time see ya